Hey, what's up guys? Frank Fulci back again with another haul and unboxing video for you guys. Uh, as you can see, we got quite a pile, like usual, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Let me get these out of the way to make it a little bit more manageable. Uh, first, I want to show a couple things that came in that I unboxed earlier in the week. Well, not unboxed, but opened on my own. And that is volumes one and two of the compendium of the comic book series of The Walking Dead. Uh, lately, you guys have seen me throw up a couple of comic book related stuff. Last week, I think it was last week, was Harrow County. Or two weeks ago, whatever. Um, anyway, everyone knows The Walking Dead from the show. And they know that it's a comic book series. Maybe they haven't read it. Uh, this is actually the second time through that I'm reading. Uh, I have a bunch of these collected in uh, trade paperbacks uh, up to volume 17. I didn't read that far into them originally, but now these go further anyway with these compendiums. So I'm trying to sell those off. So if anyone's interested, I have volumes 1 through 17 of The Walking Dead in trade paperback form. That covers close to 100 issues, I think. I think it is up to issue 97. So if you want the first 100 issues or so of Walking Dead, Hit me up, I'll give you a good price on them. Anyway, let's get into the packages, packages. First, I'm not sure if I even remember what this is. I mean, I have a good idea, but before I say anything, let's open it up and find out. Just gotta package it up pretty good. Uh, I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to open this. So recently on a on some on a random Instagram account that I follow, I saw somebody post up about uh, their favorite indie horror movies. So I don't know if overall in the history of movies, if it's from the last year or two, but it was you know there was The Barn, there was some other movies. There was one that I hadn't heard of called Unlisted Owner, and I made a comment on there like, oh, I'll have to check that out if it's really you know one of the best. Whatever, a few weeks go by, and recently, this past week, I got a random uh, DM, PM, whatever you want to call it, an Instagram from, apparently from the director, I believe, of that movie, Unlisted Owner, and he asked if I would like to review the movie for him, you know, on my site, repulsivereviews.com, in case you didn't know already, and I said, sure, I'd take the time, of course, I just heard about it, and I heard that it was good, so why wouldn't I want to check it out, and, uh, you know, I'll give him my honest opinions. If I don't end up liking it, I'll obviously say so in my review. But anyway, he was uh, nice enough to send over a copy. And Blu-ray of all. I actually thought it was going to be a DVD, if anything. You know, most of the time these guys send over links to check out. Everyone's, everyone's digital these days, which is fine, but <clears throat> I'm a physical guy. But obviously, if somebody's sending you something for free, you can't be too picky. Anyway, he ended up signing it, too, which is awesome. Or at least I think that's him, or maybe it's the actor in it. I don't know. I'd have to... Look into that a little further. I mean, it says... Hey, I'm pretty sure that's him. Jed Bryan. That's the uh, director. So anyway, awesome that he sent that. And it came with a little sticker, too. This guy's got all sorts of merchandise and stuff made for the movie. So that's awesome. So that's that. Next up. <clears throat> Bryan House Video. You know, I always order from these guys. Or Diabolic. Or, you know, my normal spots. Sorry, Amazon and stuff for those guys. Oh, that just stabbed the shit out of my leg. Oh, God. Um, yeah, there's one in here. He packed it up real nice. As they always do. And this is one I'm excited about. Uh, Duke Mitchell collection from Grindhouse Releasing. Delivered by Grindhouse Video in Tampa. But um, it has two of the films that Grindhouse had previously released, which were uh, Massacre Mafia Style and Gone with the Pope, which this is amazing that this came out. I mean, those, you can still find them in eBay or even probably separately on Grindhouse and Diabolic for not too, too much money. I think. I could be wrong now. But um, <clears throat> they were two that I didn't have. I've been trying to, like, fill in the gaps in my Grindhouse collection uh, I think recently it was that I got Corruption with Peter Cushing, 
Um, so I showed that off, and then I got the newest one, which was Tough Ones. But yeah, it was awesome that this was announced. I had to jump on it right away because, again, I knew I was missing those two. So I had to grab it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, next up, we'll do this one. Uh, I've been waiting to open this. This is from a buddy of mine through Facebook. We became friends after uh, just talking and shooting the shit about horror movies and stuff. And books and all sorts of horror-related stuff. Uh, and uh, I sent him out a package recently. You know, he bought some of my Arrow releases. God, I'm really going to slice the shit out of myself today, boys and girls. Anyway, he sent me over... We did a little bit of a trade, sale, swap, whatever you want to call it. But I think he threw on some bonus stuff here, which is amazing. And I've been staring at this box all week. Like a child staring at his Christmas presents because I don't know what the hell he sent in. Usually I know what I'm ordering. This is a mystery. So, let's see what this guy threw in here for me. His name is Andrew. He's awesome. Here is... A burnt copy of Season 8 of uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. He knows that I haven't checked these things out. We've talked about it before. But uh, these must be good uh, episodes if he uh, included it in here. So I'll definitely check that out for him. Huh. Looks like he threw in a lot of stuff here. What the hell did this guy do, man? <laughs> Alright, this is what I had asked him for. Or at least, uh, you know, what, what was part of the deal which is the steelbook of humanoids from the deep from uh, scream factory so i'm amped to have this you know i've been collecting all the steelbooks and this looks awesome he was uh he he watched it he says he has the original scream factory edition and he's okay with keeping this that so he didn't mind parting with that so that's amazing thank you buddy and then he's got all sorts of crazy shit in here another <laughs> burned copy of uh of uh guinea pig movie called Psycho the Snuff Reels, aka Tumbling Doll of Flesh. I've actually never, I've only seen the American guinea pig stuff, so this is interesting. And, side note, Psycho the Snuff Reels, now I know where the hell that title came from for that horrorcore album by uh, Insane Poetry, aka Psycho, and uh, he called it the Snuff Reels. So alright, that's awesome. We got a little pin, oh, <laughs> Clownado pin, and I don't usually collect pins, but I'm keeping this one, Clownado. Now he knows I've been getting into, uh, Jesus, what did this guy do, man? He spent, spent too much over. Knows I've been reading more lately, uh, horror books and stuff. So he looks like he sent over a few books. Uh, first one is Borderlands by, uh, well it says edited by Thomas. Who the hell's the author on this? I don't know. One of the strongest, oh, maybe there's multiple authors. One of the strongest horror anthologies to appear in recent years, a book that pushes the genre forward. Horror must change or stagnate, and people like Tessier, Carl Wagner, T.E.D. Klein, and Joe Lansdale show us how restless, protean, dark, and probing it can be. Awesome, awesome, man. I love the cover of these old-school horror paperbacks. Next up is James Herbert, The Dark, uh, from the best-selling author of Moon and the Magic Cottage. Again, I don't know anything about this, but he was kind enough to throw this in. These books aren't too long, so I should be able to breeze through them in a few sittings, hopefully. Uh, another, not as uh, epic cover, but awesome. I love the look and feel of these old paperbacks. So thank you for that. Next up, he threw a pin in here. This looks like, to me, it's the Watchmen. Um, little postcard, alien postcard. And another book that's not that small. Oh, we've got some other stuff in here. <laughs> this is quite the care package. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to thank this man profusely. Thank you, Andrew. This is awesome, man. Way more than I expected. You didn't have to go all out like this. This is N The Deep by Nick Cutter. Old school horror at its best. Stephen King said that. Uh, save your last breath to scream. Oh, some interesting font used in here. Oh, that was just for that part. But all right, awesome. I got a lot of reading to do because I got my own books too. So that's awesome. And then last but not least, he knows I've been working out like crazy. Although I've always been my whole life. But anyway, he's doing a little cliff bar, so that's funny. And last but not least, a Bride of Reanimator uh, Fright Crate exclusive pin. So this guy threw in a little bit of everything: pins, patches, buttons. Cliff bars, books, movies, 
awesome, man. I gotta send you a nice care package. I know I always throw in extras for you too, but nothing quite like that. Next up. <clears throat> this is one I've been waiting for. You guys have been hearing me talk about it. Um, full moon. Full moon features. They had a sale on 4th of July, now it's the, uh, I don't know, like 18th or 19th of August, and I finally got my package in. And let's see what these guys uh, sent me that I had ordered a month and a half ago. First up, I hope these are the right ones. Anyway, maybe I ordered them wrong, I don't think so, but anyway, there were some holes in my Puppet Master collection, <coughs> Blu-rays. I'm not sure these are the holes. I don't know if this is what I ordered, but I'll have to check my shelf over there. Anyway, Puppet Master 4, uh, Puppet Master 5, always fun. I love all these movies. I think there's only like two that I hadn't seen, and I think they're the later ones, like Curse of, Retro, whatever the hell their names started, ended up being after 5 and 6 and stuff. Next up is Meridian. Don't know much about this, but it looks like some sort of werewolf, were something or other. Uh, laser Blast. <laughs> this looks like a pretty good cast in this one. Roddy McDowell. Well, I don't recognize any other names, but I'm sure I'm, I'll recognize them from other movies once I see them. And last but not least, Lurking Fear, an HP Lovecraft tale uh, reimagined here. And these were just to fill holes, like I said, in my Full Moon uh, collection. I think I have most of the Blu-rays they've done over the years. Uh, but yeah, now I have more of them. And last but not least, guys, my Amazon package. I think there's only one thing in here. Oh, there's a couple of things in here. First up is the 4K. Oh, this came down to less than $10 recently in price. So 4K Blu-ray and digital of The Witch. Uh... I actually loved this movie. I expected to hate it when I saw it uh, a couple of years back when it came out. Uh, this is another one of those ones where people either love it or hate it. Doesn't seem like there's any in between. I thought this was really good. Uh, so I didn't mind having the 4K version of it for, like I said, less than 10 bucks from what I remember. And last but not least is a awesome new edition of Stephen King's Cycle of the Werewolf. Now this is a little bigger than uh, most paperbacks and things. You know, I have a bunch of different size books by King now, but um, this is uh, also has illustrations by Bernie Wrightson, who's one great uh, comic book illustrator. So this is pretty dope to have. Uh, I believe, like I said, this is a newer edition because I had ended up pre-ordering this, so it just came out literally this month. Um, I believe this, now I could be wrong, this might be what Silver Bullet is based off of? But uh, I'll find out when I read it. This is awesome because it's like a graphic novel and a novel all together. And uh, excited. I'll probably jump into this, especially because this one, I could probably finish this in a day. There's only 120 something pages and there's a lot of illustrations to break it up. So, definitely going to read this today. Going to watch some of this stuff today. And yeah, that's it for my haul, guys. Some books, some movies, some comic book stuff and uh, everything in between so thanks for watching guys give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already if this is your first time stopping by thank you very much i appreciate your time uh if you like my content yeah definitely subscribe and uh you know i do these weekly for as long as i'm getting stuff in so uh, a lot of stuff to show off uh, hit me up in the comments let me know what you like have you read these books have you have you heard of the books have you seen the movies uh let's talk until next time, guys, uh, peace out, be good.